Coffee finished. But what do I do with this, my plastic cup? Well, I could just throw it away and forget about it, but the molecules of this cup will last for tens of thousands of years. Or maybe I can just throw it into the bin, where unfortunately it'll end up most likely in the landfill site, or a bit better, it'll be incinerated for its energy content. Or maybe we can do some recycling here, where we can use a new technology of pyrolysis that converts these molecules in this plastic cup back to the original molecules from which it was made. So, let's go and have a look. Hello, Robert. Hello, Michael. Good to see you. Good to see you. Hi. Hi, hello. So, Robert, listen, listen. I'm on a mission. Okay. I want to recycle my plastic coffee cup. And I'm here at All End Unipetrol to come and see you because I know that you're working on a project about pyrolysis which can recycle this plastic That's cup. That's right. So, you know, where do I start? Just throw it in there. Just throw it in? Yep. Okay. And actually, I have something more to throw in there. Wow. So, so pieces of balloon and... I don't know, containers, plastic containers, Yeah, you can cups. see even like labels and caps and all, all sorts of material. Right, but uh, it can go into there, can it? Yeah, of course. It's of course. pretty dirty, is it okay? It doesn't really, yeah, no, it's not really a problem. Well, wow, fantastic. Okay, okay, so I will just throw it in there. Come and have a look. Okay, so this is where it all starts. We've got this uh, mixture of, of plastics and uh, what happens now? Well, this is only just a, just a storage container, right? Then okay. it comes into this green conveyor, which, which moves it down to this shredder. And the shred basically just compacts it down. To small Makes it particle. smaller pieces. Exactly, right. yeah. And then there is another conveyor, which goes up top, and okay, I so can show you up there. It shoots up the pipe. Of the seven. Well, okay, let's go. Yep. Come with us, have a look. Mind your step. Right. Right. So yeah, this is where the conveyor ends. Right. Yeah, there, is, there is this uh, process hopper where the material is being accumulated. Okay. And uh, this is where the reactor actually begins. So we store the material at the hopper. There is this compressing screw, which basically is used to compress the material so it gets rid of the oxygen, right. which is there. And then it's being fed into the reactor itself. Okay, so then my plastic cup goes through the hopper into the reactor itself and what happens inside this reactor? Well the reactor you can imagine is, is this metal box it's yep. full of refractories and there is this cavity on the bottom in the refractory okay and this is where a metal spiral actually is okay a metal spiral which does what which well it, it, it's there to fulfill two functions yes. first to move the material from start to beginning and second is to supply heat because this is a thermal process Okay, so you're heating, you're heating my plastic cup up to what temperatures are we talking about? Well, we're talking about somewhere around 600, 650 uh, degrees C. And so what happens at 600 degrees centigrade to my plastic cup? Well, by 600, hopefully your plastic cup is not solid anymore. Okay. It for, heats up first, then it melts, and then it decomposes. It starts to break down by the heat. Right, that, that's why it's important to have no oxygen, no air in there, so it decomposes not to carbon dioxide, but decomposes exactly. into useful gaseous molecules of hydrocarbons. Exactly. Exactly, exactly right. And then those hydrocarbons, while being in a gaseous phase, are thrown away from the reactor using this section over there. And then we can go down and I can show you the next column. Okay, are you with us there at home? So the, our plastic cup started at the bottom over there, got shredded to even very small little pieces, up this green tube, through this hopper, into our reaction chamber, where there's a hot coil that heats it up to about 600 degrees. We take away all the oxygen and air, and the gaseous molecules from the decomposition my plastic cup go through this tube into this big column here. So let's go and have a look at the column, see yeah. what happens next. Okay, let's go. Come with us. Okay, down we go. Right, so yep. we're now in this column. What happens to the hot, the hot gases? Well, it basically condenses, right? So it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, there is uh, cold water circulated inside in the okay. top half. Yes. And the hot gases, as they cool down, they condense. Those uh, longer chain hydrocarbons form this like condensed mixture of oils. 
Right, so here we've got the liquid. So, so yep. the hot gas is going to the top, cools down in this exactly. water-cooled chamber, falls down as, a, as a, a liquid, as an oil, and then I'm following the tubes. It then enters into this part here. So what do we have going on here? We call this section the oil management section. It basically does three things. First, it filtrates uh, some of the particular impurities out. Second, you can dispense the oil product, the liquid product, because this is what we are after. Right. And third, it cools further down the oil because the oil is then being used for cold oil quenching system. Okay. Are, are you with that? So my plastic cup has been decomposed into hot, useful gases of hydrocarbons into this condenser, falls down as a liquid into here where it's cleaned, and you've got a reflux to make sure that we optimize the, the amount of useful product coming out, and then it comes into here as an oil. Now, but this oil, I can't make my plastic cup directly from this oil, can I, yet? Well, yeah, this oil is not really good, but uh, this is actually in the longer chain, uh, or as far as the pyrolysis process goes, this is the end product. But as far as, let's say, longer technological chains, we need to uh, process this further right. before we can turn it into feedstock that we then use to produce monomers and eventually polymers. Fantastic. From which then we can generate the, my plastic cup back. Right, exactly. Well, so, well, Robert, you know, how much, how much plastic waste can we recycle here? Well, through this machine, we can put up to like five kilograms of plastic per hour. The bucket that we threw in was like three, four, three, four kilograms of okay, plastic. Okay, so we've got a couple of hours worth here then. Yeah, exactly. Exactly that. So, but um, what's the, going to look into the future, what would you like to achieve? How much well, throughput? Well, yeah, scale up is, is a major, major challenge uh, that lies in front of us. And we would like to achieve capacity somewhere around one ton per hour of waste material. One ton per hour. So that's yep. a 200-fold increase. So that's exactly. A, so, that's some, that's so soon there's going to be some incredibly large condensing tower for this plastic waste. But yep. uh, I like the fact that you're completing the circle. Well, so hopefully we can. From yeah. a plastic cup back to a plastic cup. Exactly. Well, uh, Robert, good luck. Thank you, Michael. And thank you very much. Yeah, All the best. Bye-bye.